good morning so how are you doing okay i hope uh, today also you are bringing your pen and paper with this lecture so i will continue so what we did uh, we are trying to digest the uh, nape base multinomial uh, nape base even model by doing it actually in hand so that you understand how simple it is but it is very elegant and um, although uh, sometimes it is uh, rough but it is quick and you must master it how to build a model using on a base algorithm and one beauty is it's very fast why it is fast because no uh, gradient descent algorithm you are running here okay so it is very very fast that's why so we took an example the other day and we calculated uh, we took a, uh, the a ridiculously small vocabulary of five words okay and we calculated uh, two class we have spam and um, uh, normal and we calculated the probabilities of occurring each word seeing each word okay in each class uh, and this is my training sample today now we will use this uh, for uh, and we have developed the model right uh, say now we will use it for prediction okay so say i received received a message hello dear so my task is based on my model in which class it belongs normal mail class or spam class okay so that means uh, let us again try to oh, no so that means what we have now we will need to calculate now that this is normal class x j j equals to 1 2 only 2 word mail i have received hello dear okay and then i'll have to predict this okay and as you know this is equals to this is prior probability x j equals to 1 to n here n equals to 2 x j given y to a zero okay so we need to now calculate this we have already started it and we are ignoring the prior probability of px okay because that will be a constant term we will not add to uh, our prediction decision okay so all the ingredients are there okay what is the prior uh, probability of the class we have calculated if you remember it is 0 0.67 and all the uh, all the these words we have a probability of seeing in my uh, table okay so let us just try to calculate them so this is that means the what is the probability that uh, hello dear hello dear okay you see these uh, kind of symbols hello dear this kind of symbol has uh, no um, significance in name base okay it doesn't understand anything about that it is simply hello dear this is hello dear okay so the probability uh, i am trying to figure out given that hello dear wh what is the score uh, it uh, make to belong in the normal class okay that is the meaning of that probability um, that hello dear is there uh, belongingness of hello dear in the class normal right so we will do it by just taking from my uh, hello and dear so 0 0.5 0 0.375 okay and prior probability is 0. 6, 7, it is so easy. Eh? So, 0 0.5 into 0 0.375. Is everything is clear? So, this is your prior probability, right? 
and this is the probability that the word hello given Mahmud and probability dear given it is normal okay just verify okay. normal class just you need to calculate these three and that's it and it turns out to be 0 0.126 so um, probability I should not write equal because that is not equal we have uh, one term missing so it is good to write hello dear equals to uh, sorry it should not be equal to proportional to 0 0.126 you know the, the way the Bayesian classifier is working it doesn't understand any uh, colon or not of uh, exclamation this that okay and even it uh, doesn't understand for example the way it is working if I calculate probability that dear hello or any combinations of those things no? making anything it doesn't matter it will give the same score that's why it is called naive uh, there is no intelligence in a most stupid way it will do our job but intelligently it will do our job okay <laughs> so uh, so this is again justification why it is called naive okay that's why in uh, machine learning literature you will see uh, it's called bag of word as if the words are put in the bag and uh, any random word is coming and it will uh, do your job okay so you need to add semanticity and more sophistication if you want to add then you will have to add separate modules for example word embedding where you uh, capture the semanticity of the word you know um, in this perspective just historically if i uh, tell you that um, why it works and why the earlier concept um, did not work uh, earlier concept 1960s although there was not no email but people tried to classify text okay and um, there the AI concept was uh, try to figure out the semanticity yeah, what is the semanticity among the words make semantic analysis okay and uh, try to uh, figure out the meaning of the sentence from the semantic analysis it turns out to be uh, it turns out to be very difficult but here no semanticity, no understanding, but still work, uh, it works great, okay. So that is naive and that is the concept of bag of word, that's the concept of word embedding. So uh, during conversation, we just giving you some important concepts. Similarly, if what you will have to do, uh, you will have to calculate that what is the score of this hello dear in still I am writing all this uh, knowing fully that it has no meaning okay so you will have to calculate 3 3 into you see uh, perhaps it was 0 0.25 and then 0 0.1 and which is turned out to be 0. Point, uh, hello dear was 0 0.0083 so Hello dear. Yeah. So this is proportional to 0 0.0083. Now see, okay. So what I'll have to do um, when uh, you'll have to put argmax function. So compute argmax. So given a feature, okay. So in which class it belongs, you will have to compute argmax function. Will give you here what it will give. It will give normal. That it will give y equals to zero. That means it belongs to normal class because hello dear has high score in um, normal class uh, than. Uh, spam class 
so it will be classified there this is great so far so good uh, wonderful this is the way it works but um, we need to check how robust your design is how robust is the nib based classifier is so in the next class we will give another example suppose i have received another mail whether my this model nib based model as it is now will be able to correctly classify or not we will see it okay uh, so with this i think um, you stay safe and uh, bring pen and paper even in the next class so that we'll work together bye bye